Welcome to another installment of Fighting for the Faith. My name is Chris Roseboro. I am your servant in Jesus Christ. This is the channel that compares what people are saying in the name of God to the Word of God. Now, there's this thing that we used to do from time to time. We're bringing it back. We're going to keep doing it from time to time. And if you know what I'm talking about, well, well, get excited because it's time for Prophecy and today uh, we have uh, brought on uh, Joshua, who's like a standard uh, guest here. Uh, uh, Joshua, your, your beard is looking a little trim there. You, you've you've, uh, you know, you've done some grooming or something? Yeah, well, my wife my wife took her uh, her magical clippers to it and you know huh? fixed it up a little bit. <laughs> All right, and then and then in center square there is Daniel Chapman. Daniel Chapman, uh, good to see you, sir. Uh, oh, yes, and, thanks for having me. And uh, and so you you have a, a YouTube channel uh, illustriously named Daniel C. Uh, yes. And and we'll put a link down below. But uh, you you've been doing some discernment type videos, and uh, you even have a, a recent video out talking about how you uh, you left the Word of Faith movement. Uh, tell us just a little bit about yourself and your channel. Yes, sir. Well, thank you so much for having me on. I really appreciate it. I'm definitely a fan of Prophecy Bingo, so I'm honored to be here. Um, but uh, yeah, so I was saved um, in the Brownsville Revival, um, late 1990s under Michael Brown, John Kilpatrick, Steve Hill. Wow. Um, so yeah, I got to see some um, some things and also some stuff and some things and some stuff. Um, so yeah, these are technical about, theological terms, things and stuff. Yeah, this is deep. This is deep. We're going like doxology, soteriology, things and stuff. Um, right. And, uh, so I spent, I want to say the number is something like 22, 23 years as a charismatic. I was a touring musician wow. for seven, eight years. Um, and, uh, you know, I spent most of my time, honestly, really getting into apologetics, um, uh, you know, uh, Eventually, I ended up probably about two or three years ago, I, I think I was just hanging out in my apartment, just browsing the, the YouTubes, and I come across this pirate type individual talking about Todd White. And I'm like, well, I like Todd White, so let me see what this guy's got to say. And then he starts talking about how Todd White's teachings are wrong, and I'm like, what? what is this Roseboro guy talking about? Like, th 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 no, no, this guy's completely wrong. So I spent about two or three years tick ticked off at you, um, and then you started Which to is normal for people in our audience by the way you know two, two right. or three years yeah. <laughs> yeah i think that's like when you deconstruct from from um you know word of faith or charismatic and all that stuff it, you, you you're ticked off for two three weeks but when you started to put the bible up on screen and i was like oh, okay and then i you would often say i don't need an open mind i just need an open bible so i was like okay all right so this this guy's speaking some sense here and then pretty rapidly my whole belief system revolving around soul ties, rebuking, binding, and loosing, um, pretty quickly crumbled down. So that was about two, three years ago. And, um, you know, there are still, there's still people in my family that unfortunately suffer the, the spiritual ship wreckage that quite often is a word of faith. Um, yeah. And so I, I started a channel to kind of speak a little bit from experience and hopefully uh, open up some eyes um, okay. and maybe throw into those sarcasm and stupidity as i go along so <laughs> why not i mean you can yep. that's you know, my strong so, suit <laughs> <laughs> right yeah we, we like to demonstrate absurdity by doing some absurd things you know like playing prophecy bingo and, and, right. and just so you guys know here uh you know as we get into this uh this next installment of prophecy bingo we haven't done this in half a year and i've i've legitimately enjoyed the uh, the mental break from prophecy bingo but all that being said uh it, i've previewed all of the prophecies no real prophecies are going to be hurt or injured in this or despised in this episode of fighting for the faith because none of these are legitimate prophecies this is all just wingnut wackerdoodleism just run amok and <laughs> there might be uh, a theme the, yeah, and 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 the the idea here is why do we do this? We do this to demonstrate by playing prophecy bingo. These aren't real prophecies. How many years ago do we put these prophecy bingo words together, Josh? Was it like God. five, six years ago? It's uh, twenty eighteen, I think, was when we yeah we started this. Oh gosh, yeah, no, yeah, I, I, and I, I, think word, I put we, the we've only updated once. Yeah, that we, we we did give a, a a big update to our our word list to kind of bring it into the present prophetic scene, you know. <laughs> so, all right, 
All right, so gentlemen, I, I'm assuming you each have your own prophecy bingo card up and rolling. There is a link mm -hmm. down below for anybody who would like to play along. And one of the rules are this: is that while you're playing prophecy bingo, if and when you you get bingo, you are then going to be required to prophesy using the words that you got bingo with. So, Daniel, I, I no pressure on you, but there's pressure on you. I'm I'm ex since you're you're a former charismatic, I expect you to bring the fire, you know. <laughs> So, Bring it on. Uh, all right. <laughs> I am uh, the right. prophet. I'm the prophet for profit. So I got this. Got it. Yeah, yeah that's right. That's right. <laughs> You're not Hank Kuhneman. Yeah. Pickle them, Lord. Just pickle them. All right, let's do this. Father. All right. So Emma oh, Stark. No. You're going to start with Emma Stark. Oh. 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 Okay. The lady who said you could, the lady who literally said you could play, you know, bingo with the prophets. Don't. That, <laughs> that, that's right. And she said, "Don't." Well, we're gonna do that with her. Uh, this is a this is Power Hour live. Well, actually, it's uh. recorded. So, and uh, and uh, and. and there's a big old moth flying around in my office right now. It must be summer in North Dakota. I anyway, can, here I can already, he, he, I can already he, feel he, my skin moving, man. I just, uh, okay. okay, all right, all right. So here we go. Hey, right, we're prophesying because actually we've got amazing things. You need, you guys need to hear this. Right, there's actually some controversial stuff in here. There's snakes, demonic serpents. I was in a pit <laughs> of them in the spirit. You go. Oh. She was in a pit with serpents and snakes in the spirit. Spirit Sounds is like she, one of the prophets of bingo words. Yeah, she's I think still she in a, was. Uh, she was still, in a pit with serpents, and then uh, the, that would be a pit of demons, wouldn't it? You know, just yeah. She's still or in a pit in my books. Okay, all right. Here, let, yeah, let's keep going. Going to need here. to want to hear this. Um, uh, let, shall we dive in to yeah. some things that are who moments? Get your pen, get your paper. Woo. Let's um, let's go. Um, a few, maybe two or three weeks ago, very recently, very, very, very recently, um, the Lord gave me a word. We always like to be on the moment. We don't like to be bringing stale revelation, okay? I don't want that day old revelation. We need we need some no. fresh, you know, you know. I'm sorry, this revelation has an expiration date. And you didn't put it in the proper <laughs> Tupperware container. <laughs> it's it's like going to Pizza Hut. You know, once they run out, you know, once it, if they're unordered pizzas, they end up in the garbage. You know, you, you need fresh pizzas here. I didn't so. know this. Oh, I gotta make it. It's I been, gotta make a drive. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Spent too much time under the heat lamp, starting to look yeah. a little bit like a uh, pizza you'd pick up at a gas station. Yeah, or, or or worse, one of those hot dogs on the rollers. You know, uh, so, you know. Uh, <laughs> sitting there for weeks. Like yeah, in the gas stations. Yeah, yeah, yeah you know, what? yeah, that's a, you don't want a prophecy that's like one of those hot dogs, you know. So, uh, like a gas station hot dog <laughs> prophecy. That's what this is. <laughs> that, that, <laughs> well, we did, we're not getting this live, so now it has expired. Right, right. Well, my bad. And, and, apologies. Yeah, I, yeah. In fact, what was the date on this one here? This was streamed twelve hours ago, so it's still fresh ish. Um, it's half, you know, day, half day. day. Right, and by the time this this episode of Prophecy Bingo airs, then this will definitely be a stale prophecy. So, absolutely. Uh, yeah. All right. Let's keep going. But here. a few weeks ago, I had this word about mm -hmm. the need to go into the foundations to restructure and to rebuild. And the Lord started to talk to me about um, the war in the air, which you you and I, I mean, if, if anybody is a war in the air warfare. specialist, let me. That'll count. Yeah, that I counts. have warfare. First blood. Uh, it's mine. It. Of all the people they didn't want to win. <laughs> I haven't won yet. <laughs> yeah, it's just one one word. You know, so let's keep going here. I know. And that is I'm praying over regions. I'm decreeing over regions. Oh, oh. Decreeing Decree. and declaring is a prophecy. Bingo word. Please Ooh. be on my card. Let's see. Second I blood. Yeah. All right, oh. hang on. And then I'm, I'm third blood here with declare. There we go. And we all know all first right. blood part three is just inferior. <laughs> what about third blood part one? Oh. <laughs> gentlemen, gentlemen. <laughs> Yo, Adrian. All right, let's move on. I'm taking responsibility for the spiritual atmosphere. I am managing the atmosphere is a prophecy bingo word. Airwaves. If you've worked with us for any length of time, you will know we keep talking about make sure your decrees are out loud. Make sure your Bible reading is out loud. Make sure you are in air war mode. <laughs> are you in air? When was the last time you were in air war mode? Joshua, you were a submariner, so you were never yeah. in air war. I, 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 I never put the submarine to airplane mode. I, I never did that. 
Okay. Uh, yeah. I go into I, I go into air war mode all the time. It's usually like a post dairy meal kind of thing. You know, it's kind of uh, uh, right. so you're, you're, you're lactose intolerant. Yeah, yeah. So you That's need biochemical lactate. warfare. Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> this is something, man. This is this yeah. is. Whew. Yeah. All right. Sounds important. These these two other folks. I I don't know what their name, but they 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 they're on screen just you know, well, praising the one guy's along. Asleep. With, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you are never reading your Bible just like in your own head, but there is a sense of a stewarding of an atmosphere, your own, your regions and beyond air war specialists. OK, so if you're doing that, come on, tribe, that's amazing. If you're not, make sure you're speaking as you drive your car. Make sure you're winding your windows down. Make- just, yeah, don't do this. The cops are going to pull you over and make you walk a line. You know, <laughs> how much have you had to drink, sir? You know, <laughs> I can't remember the last time I was in a car that had the hand crank. It's been a while. I was yeah. just thinking that. Like, do people yeah. even know what that means anymore? You know, just driving around in a Volkswagen Bug from 1995. <laughs> Speaking out loud. Those aren't nearly as fun as the 67 bugs, that, you know, but that's, that's a whole story. The boss. Sure you're saying this region will have a move of God. This region will have salvation. This region will come into harvest. So make sure you... Harvest is a prophecy bingo you word. You are in air war mode, okay? Any comments on drug. the air war? Yeah. 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 I'm in air <laughs> war know. mode here. <laughs> oh man that's a lot of words about nothing uh-huh yeah she said absolutely nothing but she said it like really confidently you know yeah. so. you got to appreciate the vigor the energy is high 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 the lucidity is about as low as it gets let's let's keep that's going though let's, let's see if she brings anything worth saying or listening to here totally i mean this is this is really where prophets especially um love to be i think it's probably been our expert place well so so he's doing color commentary on this air warfare mm-hmm. mode prophecy that we just what heard degrees here. need to hold a nation what words need to come forth to hold a nation it's very much the air oh, war nation i got a nation nice yeah that, that is a perhaps a bingo that's, word here yeah, that's a word <sighs> all right i'm gonna i'm gonna we're gonna kill this prophecy Oh. Ah. Oh, okay. <laughs> now, Josh, just for you, we're we're gonna do. Check this out. Okay, we got K Nash followed by K Nash. Oh, that's just that's not right, man. That's your kid. Yeah, but yeah, but see, see, <laughs> see, 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 Josh. See, uh, she did a video on what's going on with me, and since it's been six months since we've had to hear from K Ma- K Nash, um, I thought it would best to at least get a little info on like what's the latest regarding her. Since she did a whole video updating on her, uh, updating us on what the latest is from her, you know, the nearest so. sharp implement that I can stab myself with. <laughs> okay, well, she so, has so amazing hearing- talent. I, like I've never seen anybody to, to be able to just insert the word Jesus in so quickly. She she can just say like, "Hey, uh, uh, for this ingredient or for the for for this recipe, you can boil two three cups of water, Jesus, and then add three yeah. cups of salt, Jesus, and then you can melt down yeah. fourteen crayons, Jesus." So I'm just like, like it doesn't yeah, I, mean anything. I, I I think she's suffering from Tourette's, you know, but that's a whole other story. So. It basically is the poster child for using the Lord's name in vain because it means nothing. nothing. Thing. That's yeah. a fair point. Yeah, I have Jesus right. on my car, so I need it. I need All it. Right. Same. Well, well, we'll see if she delivers. All right, let's see what she does here. Last section of things I want to talk about today is the things that we are birthing, and so birthing. On. Hang on, I think I got that. Oh. One. Hang on a second. Oh gosh, that happened really quick. Hang on a second here. Birthing. Yeah, all right. So I need a breakthrough, supernatural awakening. Okay. Uh, we're doing good. We're doing good. So we're off to a great start here. Let's see. You know, I really believe that prophets birth a lot. Uh, that's kind of part of our job. We're, you know, birthing things, tearing down things, changing things. We are movers as prophets. And so God has been having me birth some things behind the scenes. <laughs> what? <laughs> She's been birthing stuff, you know, behind the scenes, you know, some things. Just you know. a normal everyday circumstance. Like, ah, right. yeah. Yeah, you know, it, it just goes to being a prophet. You got to do all this birthing stuff. You know, I mean, do you, you need a prophetic just, midwife? Hey, can you imagine I, I, uh, 
Okay, continue. I was just going to say, can you imagine bringing that up in normal conversation? Hey, man, how's it going? <laughs> I have been birthing some things out back that you would not believe. Like, dude, we have it. We have internal plumbing for a reason. You don't need to do that in the yard. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. So, one, okay. so one of the one of the words I just saw on my on my card. They mentioned in the last video, nation. So I, I have nations yeah. on my card. I'm gonna that'll take work that now. That'll work. Yeah. 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 Some things publicly, some things behind the scenes, but some of the things, you know, you saw me birth. Um... No, she said no, something. No, we didn't. No, no, we didn't. No, she, no we, she, we, we did not. Yeah, hang on a second. She said something, so I, I'm grabbing that one because I can. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, the book writing with Jesus download, that tense you got. Jesus! That was one thing. <laughs> Jesus download. Okay, hang on a second. I here. got it. All right, I got Jesus. Do I have a download on here? Hang on. Oh, I'll have to keep uh... looking. Yeah, you know, it, it. I have a double outpouring a deliverance. No, I don't have uh, no downloads. Bummer. All right, let's keep going here. She's doing w- really well on this update. You know, it, it wasn't quite really... the long drawn out Jesus, but it is her saying. It, it, so, yeah, yes, it is. Okay, yeah, so. I, it just we counts. birth and um, basically like a lot of you have already gotten that. And I'm so excited because so many books can come out of that. So that's great. I I've really been wanting to do this for years to kind of take my conferences and teachings on that that I've done. You know in a physical setting and make them in a digital setting so so many people can write the books that God put on their heart and really kind of check that off their list. Um, But I also am doing something huge, which is I am going to be doing Prophetic Women Worldwide 2024 in Fort Myers, Jesus. And um, (laughs) I know I didn't... (laughs) Just, Just throw it in there. Just drop it. Yeah. Yeah, prophetic women, uh, 2024. Jesus. All right, I think that's enough of an update from that's her. Only, uh, uh, that's only that's only two or three hours away from me. Yeah, and since I can now choose from prophecies going all the way back to February, February of this year. Wah, boy, did we miss wah. Princess Ebola, man. Anyway, let's let's uh, let's check in with the prophetic word for May for the month of. Hi, May. I'm Kate Nash, and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, I'm a prophetic messenger, and I have a times and seasons anointing. So I deliver prophetic words monthly. Um, I deliver prophetic words annually, and there's other prophetic things on my channel as well. So if that's something you're interested in, make sure you hit subscribe. If you are subscribed, welcome back. I'm glad to have you. Jesus, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. (laughs) Okay, today we are going to be talking about what I'm feeling from the Lord for May. And what I'm feeling from the Lord for May is this. It's the season of Kairos. Jesus. Uh, Hang on a second. Wow, I haven't heard that word in a while. I have Kairos right there. I I had on one of my earlier cards. I didn't think I I was going to show up. I have Uh I feel like. I feel like. Does that work? (laughs) That'll work. Yeah. All right. Why not? (laughs) I feel like that I feel like will work. Okay. So, all right. <laughs> and since this is last month's prophecy and we're almost through the month of June, I will find out just how useful accurate. this is. Yeah. Right. Right. Accurate yeah, is not even the right way of putting now, it. Now I do out. feel like this word is going to kind of carry out a little bit into June. So you might feel some of this in May and you might feel some of this in the beginning of June. I also feel like this is specifically a word for believers who seek him. So if you've been seeking the Lord, this is for you, Jesus. Mm. Your Cairo season is coming. This moment where things align for this season. Though delay has tried to stop you, you will succeed. So wipe off your brow, put down your hoe, put your shovel aside, and see if truly the hand of the Lord is... Put down your hoe. She had to, she had to specify. Oh, dear. <laughs> oh, wow. I didn't even see that. Wow. <laughs> I'm not talking about your girlfriend. I'm talking about your garden hoe. <laughs> Golly. <laughs> wow. No words. Wow. No words. <laughs> There's a parenthetical also from God. <laughs> Is that what we call a hoe down? Anyway. Oh, man. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> oh, gosh. I don't even have the words. <laughs> Uh, your garden hoe. That is so funny. Okay. <laughs> My cheeks hurt. <laughs> wow. Okay. Oh, man. Hey, I just got to back it up just a little bit just because. Oh. This moment where things align for this season. Though delay has tried to stop you, you will succeed. So wipe off your brow, put down your hoe, put your shovel aside, and see truly the hand of the Lord is upon your life. 
It is not shortened that it cannot save. I know, I know all that is going on with you, but I am the God of alignment. And in a moment I can- uh, uh, Do we have alignment on, I don't think I have that. How is this person holding both a hoe and a shovel? That's impressive. Well, you got two well, hands. Well, you have two hands. Yeah. Yeah. Haven't you ever gardened like, that way? Like this? This is how you garden? <laughs> oh, no, no, no. That and would then be, you got to work. Oh, if you had the little hand tools, you know, you could like, you know, kind of go at it. But the longer thing, no, no. Yeah. <laughs> That's just silly. Don't be silly. Uh, <laughs> can't expect these prophecies to be lucid or make any sense. Uh, All right. <laughs> okay. Change everything. I am a God who moves. I am a God who sees. I see you. I promote you in time. So rest and see my hand is on you. Provision comes when you do my will. So follow me and see fruit in your life. It will be good. It will be good. Now the main verse I felt like the Lord was highlighting this season. Just, just yeah. hold on. Okay. Yeah. I, I can't help myself. I feel like there needs to be a teachable moment here. Uh, Pastor, would you be willing to to read us an actual prophecy from God, just so as a we can have like a, you know, which one sounds more like God? Kind okay. Of moment. Yeah. Hang on a second here. That that's going to require me to open up my Bible, but uh, yeah. Uh, let, let let me open up my accordance software here, and mm. oh, it just switched me over. Hang on a second here. I'm going to move everything. Impromptu. Over. I apologize. Hey, yeah, that's all right. Not a problem. Hang on a second here. I got to put it. Right I right there i need my He's, brain uh, to be cleansed with the actual word of god <laughs> okay well, when you prophets right. uh prophets started opening the word of god you're doing it all wrong yeah <laughs> so i mean famous prophecy i can think of hang on a second if i go to isaiah chapter seven yeah. maybe yeah mm -hmm. i mean what do you yeah. think here uh, yeah uh -huh -huh. Mm -hmm. hang on a second yeah right, here well, we this go is a good one so again, yeah. Yahweh spoke to Ahaz, ask a sign of Yahweh your God. Okay, so Ahaz is preparing you know, for an invasion. He's preparing for a siege of Jerusalem. And he's not a faithful king. He's, he's an unfaithful king. And God sends Isaiah to him and basically is saying, you know, you don't need to worry about, you know, Syria and all these other guys. And so the Lord spoke to Ahaz. He says, ask for a sign of Yahweh your God. Let it be as deep as Sheol or as high as heaven. Ahaz said, I will not ask. I will not put Yahweh to the test. Dunkoff is the best way I can say this. He is not, you know, God is the one saying, ask me for a sign. So he said, all right, here then, O house of David, is it too little for you to weary men that you weary my God also? Therefore, Yahweh, the, I, I, actually, this is Adonai, Adonai himself will give you a sign. Behold, the virgin shall conceive and bear a son, and you shall call his name Emmanuel. Right. So this is this is a real prophecy, right? And Amen. so this is a prophecy where God says, "All right, I'm going to give you a sign. The virgin is going to conceive and 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 bear a son, and his name will be called God with us." And and so where does this have its fulfillment? It has its fulfillment at the birth of Christ, and you can see this referenced in Matthew chapter one. So yeah, I mean that's a real prophecy. Uh, what Kay Nash just gave us here, um, and, and nah, nah, nah. So oh come nice. on, I mean you know you got Isaiah seven and then. Put Put down your garden. <laughs> Put down your hoe. <laughs> and I mean your garden hoe. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> All right. Let, let's let, let me see here. I'm going to do this uh, before oh. we get to Dr. Alexis. OK, it, it is it is incumbent upon us to uh, to uh, to head down to glory of Zion. Okay, we haven't been here in six months. Let's see if the place has changed at all. What do you think? <sighs> no. Right, you guys are, I'm hitting the play button. Here we go. And the Lord says he's giving you favor for a reason to enter Flag into the war. Flag waving. Flag, wave. Flag waving. <laughs> I have that. Uh, I didn't know. I thought you yelled my wedding. I was like, what? <laughs> no, flag waving. Flag waving, right? That's right. Right off the bat, right out of the gate. Yeah. In favor, we also count. You have been anointed with favor to save Anointing, that counts. People, you've been anointed with favor to be strategic in your positioning. Strategic and positioning or prophecy. Bingo words. And the Lord says today the invitation that's over all of us is to tap into the DNA of. Uh, yeah, yes, yes, Daniel. The Lord. Saith the yeah. Lord. Yeah, that, that'll work. I, th I thought I All heard right, that. Right. Yeah. All right. Hang on a cool. second here. I think I have that as well. Saith the Lord. 
Yeah, I, I, I just, one away, one away, uh, one oh, away. Oh, oh man! Oh, oh, oh no! Uh, I, 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 need luck. Oppor- <sighs> I need an opportunity to cheat here. I can feel it. So take down your rose burrows. Take it uh, down. <laughs> take it down. All right. Heaven, I can hear it in the atmosphere whenever Trev. Atmosphere, prophecy being a word. to say happy Mother's Day and to greet the mothers. I could hear, um, it was like wounds beginning to cringe in some people. And the Lord is saying, I don't care how. Are your wounds cringing, guys? Yeah. I mean, not my wounds, but I am my, I am cringing. Okay, am, all right, just yeah. checking. I'm a little okay. wounded by what I just burst out back. It, it, well, yeah, it, it takes several weeks to recover after you've birthed something. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, yeah. I mean, you, you need to take some time off of work. So. <laughs> yeah. You got here today. You're here, and I want to use you. You're here, and I want to anoint you. You are here, and I want you to wear the favor that is available for you in heaven. What is that one? What is that wait, dance wait, that she's Wait doing? a second. Wait a second. That lady that's dancing in the front, isn't that the lady yeah, that yeah. was on crutches for a while? I don't know. I she was the, She had the voice of Mrs. Potato Head. <laughs> I don't remember. I, uh, okay, no, yeah, it's, yeah. It's, it's been a tr- I've slept a couple of times. Yeah, yeah, I, I try name. to block this stuff after I watch it. You know, I don't I don't want it staying <laughs> okay. on the hard drive for too Fair long. So. Heaven, so it is time to tap in to the DNA of heaven over your life. And the Lord says, I must have a people who are comfortable in their own skin, but not willing to flaunt their own skin, says the Lord. The Lord says, I am calling you to wear favor and to wear blessing, but let me cause people to be jealous. You know, I I would like to wear some designer blessing and favor. You know, I mean, that. that, that, hmm, what do you you think? I don't know, man. I I just, I'm still trying to figure out what it is to, be proud of your skin but not flaunt it favorably and uh. right right maybe i should take the supreme logo and then like come up with my own version of and just and call it favor you know and just use the supreme logo you know what are you guys saying oh man okay i don't know i don't know you just go with the term mediocre (laughs) and i don't need you to help me in my jealousy for i am the spirit the holy spirit that draws people in i don't need assistance in in drawing you just wear what i have called you to wear be comfortable in your own skin and allow me to use you to draw them to me the lord says i am dealing with pride and flaunting this hour but i want I want you to be comfortable in favor, comfortable, cuff. Yeah, and, and all of this is instead of hearing the actual Bible preached at Glory of Zion. So, Ooh. all right, okay, Dr. Alexis here. All right, let's hit the play button and see what happens. N- no idea. I feel like I'm about to get scolded. Well, we did get past Kay Nash, so but Dr. Alexis is known for the occasional prophetic scolding, so just uh, let's see. Ooh, All right. Bring it. Welcome, DMV UK. Welcome, Trinidad in the house. Ooh, Come on, welcome, welcome. Ooh. Ah, that's tongues. That's Gosh, she's speaking in tongues there. I oh yeah okay thankfully I I have the ability to translate gibberish, and uh, and so I definitely thought I heard a seed there. You know, it was a short one, but <laughs> she said the word seed. So, if you what? have the word, uh, if you have the word seed on your prophecy bingo uh, card, you can pop that in there. Yeah, just it was it was a very brief. Uh, bit. Wow. Just, uh, listen to the replay. It's, listen to the replay. Like, yeah. uh, welcome Trinidad in the house. Ooh, Ramanda, come on, welcome. Yeah, see, she said seed. Okay, you know. Uh-huh. Welcome, welcome, you guys. Welcome South Carolina in the house. Alexandria in the house. That's why it's important, you guys, to sit alongside teaching that helps to push you, push your faith, activates you. Remember, word- activate is a prophecy bingo word. Create world. So what you are, words create world. So what you're sitting under, some people use that language, what you're sitting under is what you will begin to acquire. Uh, but if, 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 if it is the right kind of teaching, I believe that. I believe that the right kind of teaching, uh, if the Bible talks about that the oil dripped from Aaron's beard to his sons, I believe that the Lord would cause whatever I begin to release that you shall receive it. Especially- 
Release is a prophecy being Especially those word. of you who have been walking with me for a long time, who know my story, who have worked with me, who have who have uh, watched and seen what the Lord has done. God will begin to activate your faith and then you will start seeing the same way and even greater ways. And you will start experiencing the supernatural. Listen, I believe. Supernatural. Hang on a second here. That is oh, one of my words. I got that one. Yeah. Yeah. Right, we're doing we're doing I'm still here. grossed out by the beard oil dripping on a uh, onto his sons. Yeah, that was a little, yeah, the mental imagery was not too good there. The optics was bad. All right. Let's see that God is priming us. He is priming us for his greatest miracles yet. All he needs is a person who believes it, who steps into that miracles is something. Step into is a prophecy Something bingo that word. We, we should experience every day. Who understands that miracles, that is everyday supernatural. How many of you believe that? Everyday supernatural. I expect the supernatural. I expect mm. it in everything that I do. And the Lord is not far. His hand is not uh, too short to do what he did for me, for you. Hallelujah. <laughs> Glory to God. Come on, we're in expectation <laughs> for revelation. Oh, man. Uh, Nobody likes a Lord with a short hand. No, no. That, what's, the, what's the point of that? We are in expectation for overflow. Overflow, prophecy being the word. I have flow. Uh, yeah, I th do I have flow? Hang on a second here. I thought uh, I had flow, but you you can I'm have that. Yeah, I'm taking take, it. Yep. Yeah, you should it's take it. Mine. Tonight, continue to like, share, tag the broadcast. Let somebody know that I'm on. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. <clears throat> Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. No, I will not. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. She's stuck looking at some kind of screen regarding the live stream. Thank you, Lord. Looking at the, ch at the chat. Hallelujah. Continue to like, share, tag the broadcast, you guys. 1,100 of you in the room. What? 1,100. Wow. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. The words are coming back to speak. You shall have what you say. The seeds are coming back. You shall have what you say. Seed. She said seed. <laughs> she said seed. That didn't help me. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go ahead and get into it, you guys. Continue to like, share. It is 18. I told you that's what she said. I, I told you. I have the gift <laughs> that, of, of interpreting That is gibberish. prophetic. That is prophetic. Yeah. See? See? Yeah. 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 <laughs> Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. And many of you are overdue. And so we just believe, God, that it's about to come to you. Well, for those of you who don't know, Last month, the Lord granted me and my husband a house. We, we signed for the house on the 30th of May. All right. I'm going to randomly nice. drop the playhead somewhere into this. Okay. She looks like she's wound up here. Let's see what happens at this uh -huh. point here. Heart hot and hinder. Pray for oh, hairdressers. She's got, she's got the ticker tape with all of the give me money. Uh, yeah. Harbors. For them to begin to get more faith. I pray that the Lord will bless you with more clients. I pray that he would cause whatever you need to come into your hands. Hairdressers and barbers and content creators, prayers against domestic abuse and su suicide, prayers for funding to be released in our sleep, funding, grants and contracts, the know-how, the, know the intelligence, the relevance, the intelligence, the input, the dedication. Yeah, unfortunately, false prophets prey on people who are in dire need in their lives, and that's that's a terrible bit. So, I, uh, all right. I, mean, I appreciate her releasing barbers and hairdressers into my life because I can't tell you how long I've been praying for just three or four barbers at least. Yeah, you know, one is never enough. You know. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. This is a newcomer, and this is Ray Monet. And uh, and I apologize audio wise. She has decided that she's going to have her air conditioner on and blowing in her face so her hair looks like she's a model while she gives this particular prophecy. I am not no. making this up. Yeah. Hey, it so, says double portion on there. I'm just taking the word double. Oh yeah, might as hang on. Uh. might as well. Hang on, I'll grab that too. Okay, so let's let's see what she has to say. Hey family, it's Ray, and I'm back with another word. So this. <laughs> What? She has she has the air conditioner going in her face. She looks like a model. Do we I mean, doubles. doubles, double portion, double blessings, pairs, connections, unity, all those good things. So I'm glad to get to the word. So the way that this word came to me was the series of events or occurrences. But um so this word came to me on June 9th of this year. Okay, so on the morning of June 9th, um, as I was waiting to 
I was at work, but I was waiting in the car before I went in. I had sold into someone. I sold a seat into someone. Sewing is a prophecy bingo word. And as I was praying over seed before I sent it, the Lord spoke twenty. Now what I sold to this person was it was well over twenty dollars, but but it, as I was praying, he spoke to me twenty. So after I sent it, um, I looked up the number twenty, and he let me look up the number twenty. And in Strong's and twenty means exaltation, gladness, exceeding gladness, and joy. Okay. So if I have this right, she sewed twenty dollars into somebody's ministry. She looked it up in the Strong's Concordance, and the word then has to do with exhortation. But yet How she, is this not numerology and fortune telling? Yeah, and yet she didn't prophetically know to turn the air conditioner off. I'm no, no, it, and and I, I love the jump cuts in there too. I mean, that means that you know, she she shot this all in one take and then decided to you know like cut it all up. Okay, so that that was the start of my day on June 9th. Okay, so now we're at two o'clock, <clears throat> two o'clock same day June 9th. And so if I've been here and I, I made a word previously about birthing multiples, I think. I think that was the title of birthing multiples, and and um, I was I was talking about how when you know on, when they have the babies and stuff like that, and, and they'll they'll play this the lullaby over the intercom to let you know the hospital know hey we just had a birth or whatever like that. So on June 8th, I had this thought cross my mind about how it had been a long time since I heard that, and in my mind I was like, have we just not been having no births like that at this hospital or what? And so that was on June 8th that that randomly crossed my mind. I was like, have we not been having births here? Like have we have have we really not had no no, no birthings at this hospital because like literally whatever month that I um, had made that word but birthing multiples was the last time that I heard it like <clears throat> that so I, I want to say that was April I think and so so in April she enunciates heard <laughs> birthing multiples so okay oh so, right. okay so then we get to the following day June 9th after I had that random thought June 9th and it wasn't a random thought it was a Holy Spirit so um so then on June 9th at how, why would you think that was the Holy Spirit? Two o'clock, right after two o'clock, the, inter the intercom began playing the lullaby, um, you know, over like the sound system. And so it played twice back to back. So like I said in there, they'll play it once. It'll be, okay, someone just had a baby. They play it twice. It means two babies were born, you know, or you had two birds or whatever like that. So two, it played twice back to back. Then time went by, not even five minutes, maybe not even three minutes. Um, there was just a pause in between. And then it came back on again and it played twice again. Okay, so obviously, <laughs> obviously, <laughs> why on earth does this woman think this has anything to do with the Holy Spirit? I uh, wow. Oh, and that that was it for the rest of that day. So then later, the Lord reminded me of a dream that I had. A vision, maybe a dream. I don't know. It was it was just really quick, straight to the point, simple. <laughs> it was me and another sister in Christ, and we were in a bathroom. We were in a bathroom, but we we were we had our suitcases, and it's, it was it was like we had been packed the suitcases, and we were like just zipping them up. We both were zipping them up. So you're zipping up your suitcases in the bathroom. I, I don't have any of these words on my bingo card, but I this is a train wreck. At the same time, and we were put the, put the suitcases down, pulled the handles up like we were about to leave out. So that was just it. That was the end of the dream. Or vision. that's why I say vision dream, I don't know. Okay, so then uh, as, as I'm closing out uh, that day, at that shift, um, I hear one of my coworkers talking about a unit and... Um, it was a lot of noise, but it's like when he started talking, it just got completely quiet. And so I heard what he was saying and he mentioned the room. He said room 222. So this is all the occurrences and things like that that he had been showing me, I guess, on this throughout this entire day. OK. So uh, am I am I seeing this right that that video at this point is four days old and it has over 4000 views? The, that's correct. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. yeah. Twenty dollars, strong as twenty. Thing. Yeah, uh -huh. two babies, a melody, a zipper, it and all makes suitcases sense. in the bathroom. Right, you, it, yeah, it all makes sense. in a pear tree. I don't know. Whew. I, yeah, okay. Um, Honestly, we we already have mumble rappers. We don't need mumble prophets. Okay, just don't go there. I'm so mm -hmm. lost. Okay, we're done with her. Okay, uh, uh, now, I, I got a note here, and that is that in the past, Albert Milton is known for his pie-in-the-sky prophecies. This guy will will preach sunny days in the middle of a blizzard, and uh, and so this, this caught my eye, 
because he says, the Lord says, watch out for the next 10 days. I mean, this is the closest thing to a negative prophecy I don't think that I've ever heard this guy say. So uh, here, here we go. Me, How many of you believe that the Lord is going to bring forth powerful breakthrough in the nation and in your life? Breakthrough. Hang on a second here. Oh, I got breakthrough. Uh, yep. I got that yeah, one. Yeah, hang on. I got that. Okay, so I'm just a, I'm, a, I'm one breath or awakening away or a deliverance away from a bingo here. I, I look, look at this. Oh, no. Uh, That's the I'm word looking, that I need. I'm, I'm looking good here. Looking good. Hang on. <laughs> I got to call it first. And my cheating efforts were for naught. Okay, I should have picked a different <laughs> word. All right. Next 10 days is going to be the extraordinary move of God. As you enter into the month of completion, seven is the number of complete. Only 10 more days remaining for us to move forward. This month, the Lord told me, even at the beginning of the month, it is going to be harder. It is going to be challenging, but you will be an overcomer. You will be victorious. You will cross this month by my power, by my strength, because I'm going to melt all your mountains like a wax. They are going to flow on the roads. You're, You're going to melt all my mountains well, like a wax. You know, uh, <laughs> we live in North Dakota. There is uh, not a single yeah. mountain in sight. No, we, we live in the part of North Dakota that's so flat you can watch your dog run away for two weeks. Um, <laughs> may, maybe there was a previous prophet that had all the mountains around here melted. You know, I want to have words with them. Yeah, uh -huh. okay. We're going to see all the mountains disappear and dismantled. It is all going to be powerful. Are you ready for such a move of God? This is what the Lord told me. I heard. The Rockies are gone, folks. It, it, it's all over. If, if this is your last chance to go to Colorado and Wyoming and enjoy the Rocky Mountains and uh, parts of Idaho, you know the, the Lord's going to melt them all. You know, is <laughs> in the next ten days. So get there while you can. Heard the cry of my people. Are you crying? Are you crying for the nation? Are you crying for your life? Are you crying for your family? The Lord says, I crying. heard the cry. The same Lord who heard the cry of Israelites and brought them out of Egypt. The Lord says, I'm bringing you out of Egypt. Literally, we are living in the Egypt-like scenario. Like, Literally, are, are I'm even? living in an Egypt-like scenario. Wouldn't that be metaphorically, I'm living in an Egypt-like scenario? He said literally. You know, I've never been to Egypt, right? It was, uh, <sighs> you know. Hi. The same situation, spiritually, it is like Egypt, where there are controlling elements, manipulating elements, attacking elements, harassing elements, taskmasters, constantly doing what they want to do. But They're called bosses, and you need to make sure that you turn in your time card on time if you want to get paid. So <laughs> The Lord says, I, the Lord, displayed my splendor, displayed my glory before Pharaoh. I'm glory. going to bring that I have in. Glory. Yeah, Dang that it. counts. Uh -huh. America, I'm, I'm so in your life, I'm going to display my power. I'm going to display my splendor. I'm going to display my anointing. I'm going to display my favor for my people. And I'm going to display and orchestrate amazing things. I, the Lord who submerged the Pharaoh's army, is going to submerge every enemy elements against your life. You are going to see them disappear. I, the Lord, will bring forth victorious marching procession. And this is going to be powerful, says the Father. You will come out of Egypt, enter into the land of Canaan. The Lord says, I, the Lord, will transform your situation like a Canaan, like the land of promise. It is going to be powerful. Someone watching this, you are going through severe heart attack. You are going through pain in your heart. And I... If you're going through a severe heart attack, please get to the hospital immediately and see a cardiologist. <laughs> I just imagine what? like they're watching the stream and not calling 911. It's like, please tell me more. <laughs> just let, let him finish. <laughs> <laughs> what did he say? Oh, I can feel the mountains. The mountains are melting. <laughs> Pickle them, oh, Lord. Man. Pickle them. All right. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Hey, hey, all right. Let's 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 uh, do this. Let's come back to glory of Zion here. Uh, oh, so gosh. this is let's is this is the securing America's northern border with fire and blood prophecy. So they're gonna they oh, they to the southern north. Oh, oh, oh. The spirit of God just. What just happened? <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait. <laughs> Ooh, we got wait. props. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. I'm ready. Uh, all I'm right. Ready. Okay. Spoke to me out of Here we go. Just Pierce me. I just spoke. Now turn north. Put your hands north. 
The Lord said to those on our northern border. The Canadians. Oh, I, I yeah, okay. He I said, do. set a bloodline and set the fire of God. Because in the north, there is a movement to try to quench what would happen in this nation. And I say to you, oh, in the north, you are being blocked from... Do you know it's what's going on here? Canada. It's the it's the fires in Canada. That's what they're that's what they're um, you know. Ah, yeah. okay, all right. <sighs> Glad they're blocking that yeah. stuff, you know, because yeah, I just... coming in to bring destruction. I say a fire and blood will now be Ooh. the northern border of the U.S. Get him, wow, Chuck. that that Get was un, that was unimpressively God. short. All right, how about yeah. let's create yeah. a faith I space. Feel this for the young people. The Lord is saying, "I provide the fire. I'm the one who provides it. All you got to do is bring yourself to it. Bring yourself to it. Be open to it. Where are the young people here? Where are they? Man, if you will just come to the fire, the Lord says." I will be the one to fill you up. I will be the one to burn and consume inside of you. I'm the one who gives you the life. I'm the one who has the last say over your life. I'm the one who gives life. I'm the one who is life. Now, real quick here, I'm just going to uh, add a word to my list here because that was fire. Fire. Right? Fire. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, I got, yeah. I got to say, um, there's... The whole thing about like putting a fire inside of you is that just the Taco Bell anointing? I'm I'm just asking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <sighs> All right, yeah, it could be Yo Quiero Taco Bell. So. And you will not find it anywhere else. So here we are. Here we are. Here we are. You pour Whoa. out your spirit. We open up our lives. <laughs> to go back there with the microphone's like I don't even know what I'm doing. I, I don't know what's happening now. <laughs> they're, all I know is they're paying me a hundred bucks to play guitar tonight. You gotta blow, you gotta blow You gotta put the microphone the down because he's like You gotta blow, you gotta blow On the fire You gotta blow, you gotta blow On the fire You gotta blow, you gotta blow On the fire And the Canada erupted in flames You gotta blow on the fire You gotta blow, you gotta blow On the fire You know, I heard James' word and in Jane's word, I really felt like, yes, it's for the younger generation, but God is calling his own children back to that fire. He's Where calling all from? of his children back. She just manifested in the middle of the room. It's a post-resurrection appearance. Back to that fire. One of the things that Chuck released that the Lord has so been on in the past couple of days is when he said the thing that even Jesus had to send the disciples away. That's one of the things that the Lord is speaking right now in this hour. And he's saying, you're going to have to understand that even Jesus had needed a faith space. <laughs> I need what? my faith space. I need my faith space. <laughs> this is so how stupid. You, how do you guys do this? How do you do this? Uh, have you noticed that it's been a while since I've done this? There's a reason for that. It's my mental health. Uh, yeah, it makes I sense. guarantee you, this is water. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Jesus needed a faith space. Oh, good grief! So basically, Jesus was a religious snowflake, and he needed a, a faith space. Got it? Okay. Even Jesus needed a faith space. In other words, the thing that the Lord began to speak to me and show me was that when the people wanted to get healed, when the guy wanted his eyes to be healed, Jesus had to lead him from outside of the village. He had to create a faith space. Oh, yes. It all makes sense now and that it doesn't. <laughs> right. Oh. <laughs> 
Welcome to your scheduled 4.30 p.m. lobotomy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> wow. Um, I, I, I'm just curious at this point. And God is saying most of my people are feeling stuck in this hour because they have not stepped into their faith space. Every- Daniel, have you created a faith space for yourself, sir? And then stepped in it. <laughs> <laughs> Which is kind of the opposite, right? I'm just I'm just sitting here thinking about Peter rebuking Christ, like surely you will not die, and Jesus being like, Peter, just 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 some faith space is all I'm asking, man. <laughs> I, I just, uh, <laughs> this is so weird. Oh, when Jesus God. when Jesus appeared to the to the uh, to the twelve after the resurrection, you know, he just appeared in the room. Did he invade their their faith space he did he did that's right he did he didn't he he did he just blew right through their boundaries and he went right into their faith space yeah absolutely by the way it was the 11 judas was already gone at that point so oh boy out of the faith space get out all right yeah i am i'm done with her (laughs) <laughs> All right, moving on here. So uh, this girl, another, I, I cannot pronounce this name. Hang on a second here. Um, Shantia Daha. I, da, yeah, De- I don't know. Shantia Daja. Daja? I, I don't know. Daja. I don't know. All I know is that she had the courtesy of at least turning off the air conditioner. But she shot it in portrait mode. Yes. Right. It's a she, it's a portrait mode vehicular prophecy, which is yes, uh, yes. Okay, I this uh, okay. So let's uh, let's see what she has. This, we're we're gonna get the ultimate please be upgrade driving. here. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, please be driving. But I got a word for y'all today, and the title of this video is the ultimate upgrade. Okay, the ultimate Ooh. upgrade, and so. Mm-hmm. God was speaking to on um speaking to me on the ultimate upgrade and um. Anytime that God is about to upgrade us, okay, what I watch is I kind of watch certain patterns, right? Because God is an unpredictable God. So he's never going to move the way that he moved, um, you know, last year. He's never going to move the same way that he moved previously in a situation. Okay. You see, last year he did the cha-cha. And then this year he's going to do Charleston. <laughs> so ne- ne- never the same moves, man. So and no. He's unpredictable. Also- but- what was that, Josh? Uh, also, I, I, the word upgrade, the ways that she's using it, I can't help but think of the movie Idiocracy. A gentleman who goes by the name Upgrade, which he spells thusly. I just, I can't, I can't help but hear that. Uh-huh. But there are certain things that you will be able to recognize anytime that God is about to elevate you or upgrade you, okay? And so something that I've noticed anytime that the upgrade is about to come, as I, as I start to notice, A, the people around me that, that were with me in this one season, right? And so, anyways, long the people around me, number one, and number two, the distractions, okay, that the enemy will be trying to um, continuously send your way to stop you from getting from the next level, okay? And level, so, listen, let's just talk level. about the distractions. So, I had hey. a problem. Oh, oh, yeah, new level, level counts. New level. All right. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, that, that, that's, that's good. I love how she's like, like, um, she's like a blah blah blah, and then two blah 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 blah. (laughs) Yeah, she she has an outline of her thinking. This previous week, and next number B. I was literally on my path, going wherever I was going, and God was talking to me as I'm on my path. Okay, and so as I'm on my path, there's like, um. There's like wow. um, poles, like metal poles that are like falling in front of me, right? And there's like just certain obstacles and things that are literally falling in front of me to stop me on the path that I was going. But even as I'm walking on my path, the Holy Spirit is giving me instruction, right? Right before the poles fell, he said, stop. Then he's like, move to the left, move to the right, go into this room, do this. And so in this season. So God was treating you like Frogger? <laughs> You know, I don't know. If, God, if God's telling you to stop, maybe you should. <laughs> yeah. uh-huh. Anytime that God is about to elevate you and upgrade you, it's going to be the season. This is the most crucial and intentional season because you're going to have to listen 
to the voice listen to that still voice listen to god's instructions so that he can lead you and guide you into when it's time for you to move into the next season okay this season right here is very strategic i've been saying it, okay it's very <sighs> she hasn't she's saying not it. saying anything hang on no. yeah, strategic i'm taking you strategies have here. you literally have upgrade on your on your Card. I I do hang. Oh, there we go. Let me upgrade my oh. card. There we go. <laughs> she said it enough times. I know. All right. I oh, man, we're close to like some major bingoage here. You know, it's I'm just on the cusp here. You know what? I'm gonna take dancing too because there's been dancing already what? in the uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah in the yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. It's just it's just a little delayed response here. All right, it's looking good. I, I, I've I've got I've got some opportunities here. So mm -hmm. let's come Me back too. to the Me ultimate too. upgrade. And yeah, be important that you're being obedient in this season. And so that was one thing that I realized, right? And then the other thing that I realized was the people that you were around. And so <clears throat> when God is about to upgrade you, mm. there will be certain people who can no longer identify themselves with you, who can no longer go with you to the next level because they are still stuck on who they think that you are and not who you yeah. are becoming. Yeah, they're, st they're stuck on that level. They just can't seem to get past the fire pit. You know, you just got to go down the secret tube to be able to go to the warp zone to get to the next right. level, you know. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> I, I agree. Up, up, down, down. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Hang on a second here. Um, a tunneling sound will bring restoration. Let's head back to Glory of Zion. <laughs> oh, you cheater! That is... Yeah, I'm feeling some... There's some major bingoage going on here. I, I definitely, Don't. definitely, yeah, yeah, I, I have to. Don't uh, you, you know, do it? Yeah, that 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 was definitely a deliverance that she was talking about. <laughs> I, here. I got and, deliverance. I got deliverance. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can add it to your thing, you know. Yeah. And then and then she, clearly she was also going blathering on about a big awakening. I, I'm pretty sure that's what what was going on there. Seriously? So, yeah, yeah, yeah. We needed to do it. The sheer cheatery. <laughs> I'm the Wait, pirate. Least, I can do this. Huh. I don't know. That was long enough. At least, give, at least give us some vision. <laughs> no, those, 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 out of all of that, those are the two words that I heard. So, uh, so, so, Josh, I, I'm in need of some right. keyboardage. <clears throat> all right. What what flavor of keyboardage are we are we requesting? Um, Cheating. Yeah, Fred kind. Hammond Cheating. kind of you know. Stuff oh, Hammond. Here. Okay, Hammond. Yeah. All right. Hold on. All right. Oh, yeah. Oh, you feel it? Oh, that's good. Oh, oh, yes, yes. Hang on. I'm birthing something, guys. It's about to break through. I can smell it. I, can smell it. I declare deliverance from your double Kairos awakening. It's gonna be supernatural. Yes. I'm, I'm just telling you. Just telling you. you know, <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> yeah, that that that's all. I, that's all I got. <laughs> wow, that uh, uh -huh. that was surprisingly tame for someone who cheated. <laughs> yeah. The known factor. Yeah, that's, Is that's this where right. I get hung that's up right. on. I'm gonna get hung yeah. up on now, aren't I? Uh huh. <laughs> Yeah. So yeah, let's let's kind of let's let's move forward a little bit beyond the uh, the speaking in in demonic gibberish to the actual you, you, prophetic portion of this. Here we go. Uh, Daniel, you didn't get a bingo, I right? Say uh, well, I put deliverance. I had deliverance. Yeah, do well, you have do a you, bingo? Did you did you did you get bingo? Yeah, that was bingo. Yeah, but I got okay. Well, it out. then you got well, you got to do your thing. You got to do your thing. Okay. All right. right. What, what, gotta, fla what, fl what, took, what flavor of, of music time. do you want? Um, ghetto reggae. Uh, ooh. Uh, I don't know. Just, uh, just wing it. Just bring something strong. So something, something. Oh, I like this. Yes. 
I feel the short hand of the Lord. I feel the short hand of the Lord. Do you feel those mountains melting? Because still the Lord, I feel like those mountains are melting. Just like the mountains cheese and the place that isn't, is, was, is, and isn't going to be. Because this time, I decree that your deliverance is on the way and it's already been here and left and gone and coming back again. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> I'm sweating, man. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Hey guys, oh, that, that was, worked that was up. pretty good. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. So I have a question then. If if Pastor has uh-huh. a win and I have a win, but there's three of us, does yeah. that mean one of us is losing? No, no. See, here the other thing is, is that... Nobody no, wins no. a prophecy bingo. You know that's what, that's right. We all lose. That's fair. Yeah, everybody that's fair. <laughs> I feel <Yeah>. that. Okay. <laughs> you should. <laughs> all right. Let's check in with Prophetic Liberace and see what he has to say here on this tunneling uh, prophecy. Here. You, how you've been pirated in the past season. I will cause you to find the booty that was taken from you. <laughs> I beg your pardon? <laughs> it's I don't right have next booty to the garden card. hoe. It's next to the garden hoe. Come on. You know, I am not that kind booty of man. My free space. <laughs> oh, the filth on this. Hey. All right. In this season. Well, yeah, uh-huh. I do not have booty on my card. Yeah, I don't either. So <laughs> The Lord says... I am preparing a big haul for you to bring in. And I am going to give you the sound that is necessary that will lead you to the treasure. I say this will be a season of divine sound that causes you to hear your way toward the supply. And I say, what you couldn't pull up, you will pull up this season. And what you couldn't open up, you will open up this season. And I say, the enemy will think he is drunk because he has... Well, that's weird because I thought you were drunk. So... (laughs) What on earth... Prophetic projection. <laughs> this is just these the, these words mean nothing. Absolutely nothing. Uh, this made gift, you yeah, I know a gift for saying nothing. Feel off kilter for several months, but I say to you, you will find firm footing and draw in the treasure that has been taken. Woo! <laughs> Josh, you I have, done. Uh, I have, I have seen the board. I, 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 I was just not expecting to hear this man yell out "booty." You know, it's just that was, yeah. that was something different. I wasn't expecting that. Okay. And the Lord would say to you that this is an hour where you must tunnel underneath what has been hidden from you. And the Lord says, as if it's been hidden from me, how am I supposed to know how to tunnel under it? You got to hear the sound, man. Oh, sorry. <laughs> yeah. What's, what's the sound? To... Help! <laughs> Get me out hey. of here! Help. Yeah, right. It's... I'm inside this prison. Help me! I I thought it was a sound coming from a booty, but that's a different thing altogether. <laughs> I have saith the Lord. Does that count? Yeah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. As you begin to release your sound, the Lord says you will begin to tunnel, you will begin to dig again, says the Lord. So release your sound and start digging. But not with the hoe. You gotta put and the, the Lord says you will find what has been hidden. You 
will find not only the hidden treasures, but you'll find the, find the hidden controls that have been blocking the supply line, says the Spirit of the Lord. The Lord says, pick up your instrument again and dig the tunnels, for you will uncover, you will recover, and you shall restore, says the Spirit of the Lord. Put down your garden hoe. Now pick up your garden hoe and dig for a sound. All right. Okay. Kent Christmas or Hank Kuhneman? Well, let's, uh, let's go with Hank Kuhneman. Let's go with Hank Kuhneman first. All right. The, get get ready. He, this guy, when when he's prophesying, he he needs a band to do it, and he always looks like he's passing a prophetic kidney stone. So you know, while he's prophesying, it, it just it yeah. literally looks like he's in physical pain. Come on, give God a shout. Come on, give him a shout. It's wolves. We shout unto God with the voice of triumph. His wolves are coming down. Shaking, Sammy God. Shakings, yay! <laughs> oh, yay! Yes! Yeah, I got that one. Uh -huh. Nice. There will be great shakings that shall arise at this time. Look to the places of these shakings, says the Spirit of God, for they will be in places where they say that there is not usually seismic activity or even fault lines. But this what is I not... Would not give, what I would not give for an earthquake to hit right now would just collapse the whole building. Yeah. <laughs> what I... The I look at by way of fault lines. I look at those who are at fault and what they have done, says the Spirit of God, and tunnels that are under the earth's soil that have led to much regarding children that must now tunnels. come to the surface and be exposed, says the Spirit of God. There shall be great activity upon the earth. <laughs> no. He's just quick fire, man. <laughs> yeah, great activity on the earth. You don't say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, uh -huh. never gonna happen. And the shakings of the soil, and even in the places of deep waters. Why does the earth shake in the place of deep waters? Because there are those of the deep state that are in deep water with my justice, says the Spirit of Grace. Uh -huh. Oh man. <laughs> That's right, he's a political wow. animal. That's right. That, that uh, took a huge circle, I mean. Yeah. It started going one direction, and of course, right back to politics. Okay. <laughs> and this will be a sign into the earth that justice and righteousness is increasing. But watch, watch, for there will be great winds. Yeah, like the wind coming out of your face. There will be much activity in the atmosphere, and you will say, what is this by way of winds? They will scream and say, Cat 5, but it is not my hand. God says, yet there are those that must arise at that time to show the power that I have given in the earth to speak to the wind and to the sea. But yet there will be great displays of lightning. And they will say, these are but record, record, record by way of the length and the height of these bolts that shall strike and shall be displayed. And some shall not even, they will look and say, where did it strike? I was under the impression nothing was going to happen on the earth. Yeah, well, you know, this is, uh, the, lots of activity a lot, and, and bolts that don't even strike. But yeah. The way yeah. he just. Why? Why? Just like yelling, yelling every, everything must be shouted in the yeah. most stupid way possible. I told you, he looks like he's passing a kidney stone. He's a shouty man. He sounds for sure. like it. He sounds like it too. Yeah. Yeah. Displays that I show shall be my justice that is striking down the attacks and the efforts of he who sits in the high places of the earth and thinks that he can control as the prince of the power of the air. Not so, I laugh. And I will show the displays of my lightning, but watch, there shall be shakings of the very atmosphere of the- 
atmosphere. Heavenlies where many demonic thrones and high places are. Listen, it's so searching I will for give words. you a demonic <laughs> thrones. Like, uh, I don't know. <laughs> And, and then when he runs out, he's just stream. like, why? <laughs> stream of consciousness nonsense. Sign for you will hear my voice. And it will be the sound of thunder that will shake your windows, shake the very ground beneath. And they will say, what is this with the thunderous noise that is coming from the sky? <laughs> God says, listen to me. You are about to see justice and righteousness that does not just affect those of you in the earth. But that which has been in the heavens, the strongholds, they are falling, says the living God, that I may reset the earth. Reset. And I may bring divine reversals to... Reversal. Reversal! The gener- I have reversal! Yeah. Uh-huh. Dang it. Yeah. The of the children, God says, a revolution of light. Come on, show! Yeah. Uh, honestly, okay, so I would actually pay money. I would pay money to see like Hank Kuhneman and a and a doppelganger or like a clone of Hank Kuhneman trying to perform local theater. It would be so bad. It would be amazing. Yeah, <laughs> I would go to that show. Just Shakes- Shakespeare. It has to be Shakespeare. You know, just it, it would be over the top, ye- over the top yelling and everything. <laughs> <laughs> Why, forsooth? <laughs> out, out, damn spot! <laughs> <laughs> and Macbeth, just go Macbeth. Just, yeah. <laughs> to be or not to be <laughs> or not to be. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta search for those words. Wait, what? what, what? <laughs> 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 Oh dear! Oh man, <laughs> so, it's so broken. Uh, so yeah, broken. I agree. All it's right, so hang serious. on a second. All I right, let, let's check in with uh with Kent Christmas here. Let's check. Oh, in is this Kent. is this the channel that does the like, they, they repost other yes. people's stuff and they put the hands the, interpreter? The, the, yeah. The, so the the guy down below who's going to be moving his lips and stuff, they just do this so that they can rip somebody else's channel off without the copyright strike. You know. So uh, th- this is a weird thing, but uh, yeah, here we go. Uh, boy, I just such a precious spirit of the Lord here. Uh, wait, more, 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 more gibberish here. Um, so, so Josh, what do you need in there, buddy? What do you need? You want to give me a battle? Yeah, you want a battle? Oh. I want I'm a battle. Surprised. All right. I suppose I, I, didn't say that. Yeah, but let me let, let me let me check the tape. Make sure that uh, that we we stay with the integrity of the gibberish here. Hang on a second. Let me just back course. up just a little bit here. Sunday. Yeah, that that's gonna work. That 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 that's that's a battle what? there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then oh. I got myself a bingo. Right on, right uh, on, sir. I, I demand a reversal. <laughs> I want a divine reversal <laughs> now. <laughs> All right, mm-hmm. hold on. Let me let me let me check with mine because I'm gonna be. Oh, this is perfect. Oh. <laughs> uh-huh. All right. There's going to be a level and a battle with reversal and the glory of the free space. Why? Why? Oh, oh man. Oh, this is terrible. This is a good workout. <laughs> yeah, uh huh. Yeah, that's pretty good there. Pretty good there. All right, all right, all right. Let's let's come well back done, here. Josh. We haven't well even done. gotten into this prophecy yet here. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Put the vocal fry on there. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I've withheld my spirit says the Lord in measures that people have asked for because if I had came they would have not have valued me 
For if my spirit had come, says the Lord, it would have been used to promote men and not me, saith God. So I withheld myself from my house. And much has oh, been... You... Wait, what? Hold you... on, okay. Hold no, on. You say a logical you're... point here. Christ uh, is present where two or more are gathered in his name. And here God is saying, I withheld myself from my, my house. <laughs> you know. <laughs> One, who let grandpa out of the old folks home and gave him a microphone? Uh, Two, uh, uh, but also, did you notice that they have like the overlay of the American flag waving over the whole thing with this really weak transparency? They're just yeah. throwing a bunch of crap on the screen to try to make it so that we don't have a copyright strike and it's amazingly bad. Uh huh. It's very distracting, too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Built yeah. in my name, says the Lord, but know this, I am tearing that down, which has not been built on the foundation of Jesus Christ. No man, says the Lord, will be able to take my glory for that which I'm... I think they put that music over it, too. <laughs> yeah. Sounds They're like doing they everything they can to keep from having this taken down. Get it ready to release into the nation, saith God, will be of such magnitude that books will not even be able to destroy. <laughs> this is so bad. Shit. And what's with what the lady that. doing the rosary? What on earth? Describe that which is being released out of heaven, saith the Lord. For even this house, saith God, that which you are getting to erect, saith the Lord, call it the barracks, because out of it, saith God, it will house an army of the Lord that shall begin to shake your state, saith God. For there is a foundation in this house that has been built on the rock, Christ Jesus. And though there have been many that have passed on, that have paid the price, that which other men have labored for, this congregation shall enter into, saith the Lord. And that which you are releasing now and that which has already been planted in the soil shall come together as a mighty move of the power of the Holy Ghost. Think it not strange that you are close to a military base. Think it not strange that you have military in this house, for this is a strategic house, saith the Lord, that I am raising hey, up I have in this. Strategies. I, have, I have strategies. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And also, the, uh, do Dollar Store Elijah Wood is very distracting. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh, man, I've never I haven't seen someone yeah, that... use the Lord's name in vain so many times within a minute. Uh huh. Yeah. See All right. Now we got to check in. We got to check in with uh, Nate Johnston's prophetic encouragement for the month of June and July. Months of, of June and July. Oh. Uh, yeah. Who so hang on. So, one. This yeah, prophetic and, word comes from Nate Johnston. This word is for it. the month of June and July 2023. No, it isn't. Shine for God's glory. June and July are the months of emerging from the tomb and crossing over. <laughs> Thank you. We have now have prophetic chat GPT. This is weird. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Yeah. Did, did you have chat V GPT pro provide us with this prophecy? This is an AI you know, prophecy. Okay, hold on. Hold on. In chat GPT's defense, they would probably have a far more lucid idea of how to make a prophecy than yeah. anything that these guys string together. Yeah, yeah probably I, correct. Yeah. Yeah. I used it one time to to throw together a quick sermon just for funsies. It was it was pretty on point. Whoa. <laughs> okay. Yeah. A few days ago during worship, I went into a vision and I saw a person wrapped up in bandages vision! standing in a tomb. I have vision. I have vision. I have vision, <laughs> I have vision more. I have more vision. <laughs> <laughs> I have it gooder. <laughs> What? <laughs> no, sorry, sorry, bad timing. Uh, you have it on uh, your card too, Dad. Yeah, I have it. It's right there. I just needed. Oh my so gosh. I, I, I need victory for another victory. So, oh you know, or gosh. breath. Yeah. Okay. Or river. Okay. Or outpouring. Yeah. yeah. Let's get back to the chat. Beat GPT prophecy here. I perceive this to be Lazarus because my spirit began to say, "Lazarus, come forth. Lazarus, come forth." Then the Spirit of God came upon me, 
and I begin to prophesy. People of God, it is time to emerge. It's time to leave the place that you have been in. It's time to leave the place of death that you have been dwelling in for the sea. Okay, hold on. Hold on. So one uh, one point of contention for this. One of the good things about stuff like this is that it's far less charismatic than yeah. um and then Nate Johnson or whatever. Like the, the the stilted computer e talk of it actually detracts from uh, its efficacy, which is what I did with the Stephen Furtick, you know, yeah. <laughs> hey yeah. haters thing. Hey haters. Yeah. Okay. Hey, right. haters. Season of death, <laughs> death is over. The season of your seeds fall into the ground and die. The season of death is over. Isn't that great news? I mean, you know, I just did a funeral on Monday. Dying is so. over. The season of doors closing and things ending. The season of barrenness. The season where it's felt like there's been no fruitfulness. The season where it felt like every single thing that I placed inside of you came to, its better end, is over. You are exiting that place. You are coming out of the place that you've been in, where you've been acquainted with the death of my burial. You've been... A with the death of my burial? What? Acquainted with Gethsemane. You've been acquainted with grief and suffering, but now I'm calling you out. I'm calling, calling. you from that place. Ah! Yeah. I just got another bingo. No. No. Yes! Yes! Uh, <laughs> I, don't, I don't have a flag to wave. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> just find a random thing to wave. I have a, I have a, I have a, like a, <laughs> a Santa wave. Perfect. Why is that there? Hey, it's just in my office. <laughs> anyway, hold on. I, I have to, I have to figure out how to wave something. Actually, hey, you, that's, you know, Daniel, I'm going to call on you. You, you have to be my flag waver. Oh, I have hair. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. That'll work. That'll that'll be perfect. Yeah, just let that lice all over. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Mission! The battle is calling! Double flag waving! Why? 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 <laughs> <laughs> there we oh. go. That's it. Why? That's good... Why? <laughs> Lazarus, come for fourth. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> All right, hang on a second here. We're gonna check in with Stephanie uh, Esters, and let's. And I gotta. Here. Hey, everybody, Stephanie here. I hope you're having a great day. Uh, first, oh, I want to say I miss you guys so so much. And Aww, of course, I'll too. let you know what I've been up to at the end of this video. But I'm just going to jump right into this word. And the Lord really was highlighting June. June. And what I saw was that like that a catapulting. <laughs> like God was using June to catapult us into, into many spheres, even of influence. Um, he was just <laughs> using the month of June to set us up for the rest of this year. And I saw open doors, sudden expansion, sudden wealth. Um, I saw joy and celebration. I saw growth, productivity, you know, the answer prayers. We saw results, you know, we saw expansion, but we also experienced a divine rest. Like the Lord was fighting for us. It was like, it was like a mighty move, like a mighty power move of God to set his people in the right places, to connect him to the right people. And so I really felt like divine connections, you know, open doors, like increase, new territory, even land um, and home ownership. I saw a lot of that going on as well. A lot of land and home ownership going on there. Yeah. Wow. That that pretty much happens every month. But this catapult month them is going into to the spears. Be... Yeah, <laughs> into the spears. If you got catapulted into it... a spear, that's the last thing that will happen to you. I I yeah. think she she meant to say spears as in S P H. Right. Yeah, <laughs> but she did say spears. So you know, yep. yeah. So yeah, it's it's either something really sharp or a, a member of Britney's family. So you know. <laughs> <laughs> well played. Well played. <laughs> 
catapult us for the rest of the year. So some of you, he may have you, you know, dot every I, cross every T, because this is your launching month. This is your launching season. And so, Sweet. you know, summer usually represents harvest time. And he really... But no, fall represents harvest time. Summer is still a growing time. And, you know, does she live anywhere near a farm? He highlighted. He brought me back to, well, first he told me to do a three-day fast, um, the Esther fast. And he said it's not just a fast, but it, it was more of what took place. It wasn't just the Esther anointing, right? Yeah, make sure everyone knows about your fast. That's good. That's right. How that works. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. I, I God that's had me. Christ, do it. That's what Christ. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> God's not having me do any fasts right now. I'm doing a bunch of slows. So it yeah. was the power move of God for His people. Uh, there was such a takeover anointing in the book of Esther. Yes, we want to beautify her, and yes, she was born. She she was she was queen and everything else. But there was such a takeover anointing. I never heard about the takeover anointing until just now. So displayed in the book of Esther. And he really highlighted Esther 817. Many of the people of the land became Jews for the fear of the Jews fell upon them. Now, at this time, I believe they were second class citizens. But when God moved on their behalf, everybody, many of them, wanted to become Jews. Can you imagine many people wanting to become Christians because of the work and what he's done for his people's lives? This is what is about to take place. I really feel this. This is a harvest of souls. Harvest is a prophecy bingo word. You know, revival, Oof. the great... Revival. Okay, hang on there a second here. Yeah. Uh -huh. um, circles. Yeah, that's what they all do. All right, so this is the this is the time that you will see prophecy. And by the way, you can see the transcript on this one. Um, <laughs> note that they added the musical notation here. <laughs> Tiffany Smith, music. The Ding. Lord says, there are some of you, music, who come week Ding. after week. Uh -huh. So yeah, <laughs> just wanted, just wanted you to see that. All right, let's see. Here, here, here we go. Says there are some of you who come week after week, and you sit there with. Oh, this is bad Broadway. Oh, oh this is oh, Disney. This, oh this no, is, this is this is bad imitation Disney off off Broadway. Right. And yeah. And watching for a sign, but this is the week that he's gonna open your eyes to see that signs and wonders were following you this entire time. Everyone in the body is coming alive. They're coming alive. This is the time. This is the hour that you're going to see that signs and wonders and miracles have been following you because my love, my heart, my goodness has been following you. This is the time the whole body is going to come alive, going to come alive. This is the time that your eyes A whole new reversal, <laughs> a melted, a melted mountain at my feet. <laughs> Something about not knowing where to go because you're lost on stage. <laughs> oh, this is horrifying. Okay, so, oh. so who's, who's, cr who's cringier, this lady or Nina Jankowitz, the, the lady who um, was going to be the head of the uh, misinformation department like that Biden was trying to put together. Oh, I remember her. She she didn't really last long, did she? <laughs> no, no. She, she yeah. didn't. And yeah. I, I I would note that she, you know, if she's looking for a career, you know, I she should really consider moving to Texas and going to Glory of Zion. She'd fit in well there, you know. So <laughs> just, just I'm more than enough. I'm more than enough. God says you gotta believe I'm more than enough I'm more than enough I am more than enough 
she'll be reprising the role of the Little Mermaid in the next live action version of The Little Mermaid 2. <laughs> He's breaking off apathy. He's breaking off deception. He's breaking off witchcraft that's kept people locked in their seats. The Lord says, This is. Aren't you just talking about the entire congregation? <laughs> I have no idea what on earth is happening Yo, at the witchcraft, get out of your seats. Stop it. Uh-huh. All right, gentlemen. We we've been at this for a while. I, I think it's time Ooh. that we uh we have mercy on the people in in the audience and, and bring this thing to a close. So uh, what we <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why? <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I, I, we, we give two, uh, two words away at the end of every uh, episode of Prophecy Bingo. One, if you're a subscriber, and then uh, two, if you hit the bell. So, you know, it, in, it's on the honor system, but if you cheat, just remember God's watching. You know, so, uh, you know, so if, you would, if you are a subscriber to uh, our, our channel, go ahead and get, uh, you can take one of the words I will give. And if you also have hit the bell to be notified, then uh, then you also can take the second word. But uh, Josh, help me out here. I, what, what, I, what, what should be one of these words? You know, we could definitely give people some health because they're going to need it after this video. Okay. Oh, I have yeah. that word. Come on. Okay. Health. It, all right. So health, if, if health. you're a subscriber, and I'm going to go with victory. <laughs> um, if you uh, if if you've uh, hit the ring the bell <laughs> notification, which then gives <laughs> gives me a, another How chance to weird. prophesy here. Yeah, isn't that great? How hey, that I I too have another bingo. All right, oh, come all right. On. You, uh, I'll go first since your your prophecies are better than mine. So, uh, uh, what what right. what flavor of music? Okay, so what I need for this prophecy is like random music in odd places that don't make any sense with what I'm saying. Oh, uh, hold on. I can probably just... <laughs> sure. Yeah, oh, but yeah, I need some yeah, chords in go. there, too. You know, oh, you got to really build it up. Uh, yeah. Hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> like, like I have another drum kit. Yeah. There we go. Oh, that's awful. That's perfect. All right. Oh. So, so the Lord is telling me that the vision, the vision is a vision that uh, is double the vision. And if the, the, if the vision isn't doing the thing, then the Kairos won't, won't be doing the, the awakening. And so if you, if, if you would need the Kairos to do the double vision thing, then, 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 then you can plant a seed and the seed will then lead to victory, which will birth... Jesus. Worth it. That was a cacophony. <laughs> all right. That, yeah, yeah, that, so, that worked. That worked. That worked. All right. All right. Hold on. All right. I'm going to go with a completely different vibe on this one. Okay. Oh. There's a Robocop. So this is the Disney electrical, electric light parade, you know. <laughs> It's like a Tron prophecy. Mm. Oh, I feel the health. <laughs> and the vision. Would you look at this? There's a free space. And I <laughs> said to you health. that Jesus was going to give power to the nations. <laughs> because reasons. Because <laughs> reasons. <laughs> I love the, uh, uh, oh, I feel the health. <laughs> <laughs> Why? 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 <laughs> Why the pickling? <laughs> oh, well, well, Daniel Chapman, well, actually, thank you for coming on for on fighting for the faith and pray, uh, the, the, the fighting for the faith and playing prophecy bingo with us. You were a good sport despite all my cheating. So, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 
And uh, you, and Madden again, uh, we're, we're going to put a link to your YouTube channel down before uh, down below, and uh, and so that uh, people can check out the the fine work that you're doing in warning the body of Christ now that you've come out of the, uh, the charismatic word of faith and and all that kind of stuff. So let me let me sign up, Josh. Thank thank you again for your uh, your minstrel skills and uh, and and such. And uh, I'm going to sign off with everybody, and then I'll, I'll come back and chat with you guys here in a second here. So if you found this to be um, Helpful? Is that the right way to put it? A prophecy bingo. All the information on how you can share the link is down below. And a big shout out to all of our uh, crew members. It's you who make it possible for us to bring Fighting for the Faith to you and to the world. And if you would like to uh, uh, support us financially by joining our crew, the information is down below. You can click the link and you can become a crew member as well uh, to support the work that we're doing here at Fighting for the Faith and warning people about false prophets, false apostles, false teaching, and, uh, and then giving people a sound doctrine as a, as a counterpoint so they can better understand the scriptures. So until next time, may God richly bless you and the grace and mercy won by Jesus Christ and his vicarious death on the cross for all of your sins. Amen. Amen.